What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to find where Steam is storing the games that you have installed on your computer. So you're able to find the exact file location and find the executable file. You can make a shortcut of it, put it on your desktop, and you can see like the overall size and how much space it's taking up. So first things first, um, make sure you have Steam open. I'm assuming you guys know how to do that. And then go to the library tab up top. So you might launch and store. Just click on library and you're brought to this and then you have um, some options that may be grayed out and then some that are in white. So the ones that are in white are the ones that are installed on your computer. The other ones that are grayed out, there are games that you bought, but if you want to play them, you'll have to download them first and then install them on your PC. So you can't play them right away, basically. So um, how to find where the ones that are installed on your computer, where exactly they're installed. All you have to do is you right click on the game itself click on properties and then go to local files here you can see the size of it so this game takes up 90.33 gigabytes on my c drive and then here is where you can just click browse and it'll bring you right to the folder so um, here we go under program files 86 steam steam apps common star wars battlefront 2 i scroll down and here is the executable file right here I don't have a .exe extension showing, but trust me, I right click on it and I click properties, you'll see it's a .exe file. So that means if I double click it, this is the exact location of the game and you just saw play flash right there. So that's basically if you click play on Steam, it goes right to this exact location and launches that executable file to launch the game so you're basically doing steam's job for it at this point but um, what's cool is you can just create a shortcut off of that and then you know launch the game from wherever on your computer so i'm going to exit this really quick and there's uh there's two ways to create a shortcut so you can create this shortcut right here and um, all you have to do is right click on it do show more, show more options if you're in Windows 11 and then do um, create shortcut and then you're going to want to cut this because you don't want it sticking around in this folder. No point in that, right? And then you can, um, I'm just going to close this, just put it on your desktop. So if you just do paste, here is the shortcut and if you double click it again, it's going to launch the game. Um, I'm actually going to try and stop that really quick. Give me one second. Just to save us some time so you can do it that way or you can uh, right click on the game itself and then you can do um, manage and then you can do add desktop shortcut and that'll create it looking like this so you'll see that these are actually two different looking ones and they have different titles and if you hover over it it's a little bit different this is a shortcut to the exact executable file and this is um, a steam shortcut but basically what this does, this one, instead of just going directly to where the game is on your PC, it launches Steam, which Steam goes to where the game is on your PC, and then it runs the game. So they do the same thing. Totally your call how you want to do it. Um, but yeah, that's how you find where the games are stored in your PC. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.